Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me grow my channel and it's free for you to do. So thank you in advance. Now today I've been inspired by a specific colour palette. I will show that now. And that colour palette, I'm going to use those colours to basically do a straight pour. Probably a wandering straight pour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer two cups and I'm going to use a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And I'm just going to have a bit of fun and let's see what we can create. Okay, so you've seen my colours and what I'm going to do and the colour palette that's inspired this. And each of my colours are a lot thicker than what I'd normally use. They are all mixed with Liquitex. That's a gloss pouring medium. And for my canvas, I have already painted the edges. So, let's layer the cup. Okay, so I'm going to layer two cups. I'm going to use two cups on this 20 by 20 inch. And what I always need to remember is the first colour that goes in is going to be the last colour that comes out. So, I am going to do them slightly differently. So I'm going to have a lighter colour in one cup. And then a darker colour in the other cup. Okay. Number one. Oh, which end to start with? Okay, I think I'm going to start here and work my way across. interesting colours. Really, really interesting. Got a few air bubbles, so I'm just going to torch. Okay. Really, really interesting. Ta da Done. Only joking. Right, I've got a big clump of the kind of the beige colour here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a feel for the uh, the canvas. See where the block of paint is. I think it's all kind of gathering just here. Um, and I think I'm going to be sh pushing this over this edge first.
guys, I love it. Okay, here we go. Close up the wet version. Okay, so see how the sides have covered well as well? Let me start here. You can just see some slight um, hints of that kind of caramel colour. There's a big line going all the way through that. I really like that there. And I really wanted to have more of the, the darker blue. So that's why I decided to push a lot of the beige colour over the edge. There's some really, really interesting lines and contours. And I think this colour palette is really, really interesting. And I'm really pleased that I've tried to do a different technique than what I'm used to using this colour palette. So the question is, what way up should it go? I kind of like it like that, but I wonder whether you've got some glare from my window, but hmm. Let's see. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to let it dry and then I will show you a dried version. I just love how it's dried and all those colours have remained so vibrant. Those blue tones are gorgeous. And all those lines and how they all kind of intertwine. And yeah, I'm so, so happy with this creation. What I'll do is I will leave you with a few close up shots. And I've even staged the picture right at the end of this clip in some uh, living room and a hallway environment just so you can see how it looks. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.